we are trained in a really weird pathological way that our identity is in our job. But you know, actually, I'm a mom who cares about our world, who happens to be a doctor. There's a level of shame that comes into it when you're talking about you being down or depressed. Not a little taboo, it's big taboo, right? We don't talk about our feelings, we don't talk about the death we see, we don't talk about the stories of the structural and social impacts on health that affect our patients. I have a lot of friends across the country who are on the front line and and I'm listening to their stories and the heartbreak from New York to DC, Chicago, New Orleans. And it was heartbreaking. And, um, and also I was going through and am still going through a heartbreak myself where my sister was killed in the end of February. I just felt so helpless. Like there was something that I just felt like that there's something we can do. I was talking to my good friend Shalini Pummel, who is in Boston, and we really asked ourselves, how can we like get folks connected to the folks that are on the front line and start sharing stories and being able to give the folks on the front line a safe space to talk about what they're going through. And we basically started a, a town hall series and we call it Weekly Rx. We're just connecting the community to people at the front line and giving people a space to talk about how they care for themselves, what's their prescription to survive, and also just giving really concrete um, truth telling, you know, than the misinformation that a lot of folks are getting. So we've gotten questions like, what do I talk to my kids about? How do I talk to my next door neighbor? What can I do to help? What COVID has done is given us a little bit of an opportunity to actually talk about this vulnerable thing of mental health and providers and depression and um, being able to be okay with talking about our feelings and getting in touch with those things because there's so many Many of us who are now saying, I don't know how to deal with this anymore. Right now, health is shut down our whole entire country. Health, right? It shut down our economy, it shut down our education, it shut down our transportation. In addition to that, it has shown the, the underbelly of what we know exists in health equity, right? Racial justice is racial injustice. It has actually shown us that there is no such thing as health equity. We've all been trying to get it. One of the things that I realized is that in grief, I think for myself, right, I need to find a bigger purpose to do something bigger than myself. The work of health equity and the work of um, racial justice is everyone's work. I actually think that the burden of health equity is not on our uh, black community. This concept of going back to normal, like I don't, I really don't want that to happen. I really actually want us to really be purposeful and intentional. What new normal, what normal should be looking like? I don't want to go back to the stuff that's already we know is broken. Mm -hmm.